A lot of you have been asking me, what are the Hong Kong coins that are gonna be allowed to trade around June 1st? Well, we have two lists to look at. I'm sorry, VeChain is not on those lists, as are not a lot of the Chinese, so-called Chinese coins, uh, we think that should be on the list. But there are they all are major, uh, mainly old coins and big coins, so that's no surprise. Like I said, China was gonna start out with Bitcoin and Ethereum and a couple of like other coins. But let's actually take a look at uh, two lists and what possible coins they could actually uh, have in Hong Kong. So I think the first one, I think a lot of you have seen this one on Invest Answers. So it looks like um, the coins are gonna have, and this is like pretty lately, this list is a supposed list, it has not been confirmed. So don't be surprised if the initial list of assets is greater or less than what this is right now. But HK coins right now, Bitcoin, Ethereum, I'm sure those two are true. Solana, Filecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Atom, Polygon, BNB, LTC, Link, AVAX, ADA, and DOT. BNB, I'm a little bit surprised on there because I thought China was pretty antagonistic with CZ, but I suppose not. So these, this is a rumored list that's appeared lately and has not been confirmed. We're gonna look, look at another list that was drafted about three months ago in February. And um, these are the coins here on the, uh, I think on the left that are actually gonna be, um, uh, going to be uh, like traded in Hong Kong. And what this is like, it has to be at least on, a, on two de uh, indexes and has to have adequate liquidity. I think all these coins have adequate liquidity, but if you're not at least on two of these um, and the, the five indexes are Galaxy, 21 shares, Bitwise, NASDAQ, and Wisdom Tree. If you're not at least on two of these, then you're not going to be traded. So these are the coins that qualify. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Polkadot, Solana, Cardano, Avalanche, Polygon, and Chainlink. You'll notice that BNB is actually missing from this list, and BNB is actually on this list. AVAX is our also, well, AVAX is Avalanche, I guess, so that's on there. But there's a couple of uh, coins that are here, uh, that are here that are actually not on here. So the, the thing is, um, take these lists from what you will. You can find this one on, you can find both these lists on Twitter. So yeah, I think DOT is the one that's on the recent one that's not on the old one. So that might be one of them you wanna look at. Adam's also not on the old one, it's on the new one. So those might be two new ones that it's getting listed. Filecoin is another one. So you can cross check these lists and uh, make your investment choices then. I'm not going to be investing based solely on the fact uh, whether they're Asian coins or not. Like I said, this has not been confirmed, but it's a good chance just looking at this list that this is actually what it is. Unfortunately, VeChain is not on there and neither is Neo, but that doesn't really surprise me. They can always add new coins in the future. And like I said, like for China to list them, they have to be big coins and they have to be listed on certain indexes and VeChain's not listed on these like, you know, index funds. So Hong Kong might actually not be willing to list them. So for VeChain to be listed, they actually do need to get on some of these like big money funds, which could actually be pretty hard for them. None of the smaller coins, I don't think I see like a really small coin, maybe besides Filecoin that's actually listed on here. So I'm not really all that worried, but this is the list of coins. Once again, the smaller list is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Polkadot, Solana, Cardano, Avalanche, Polygon, Chainlink. The longer list is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Filecoin, uh, BCH, Atom, uh, Polygon, BNB, LTC, Link, AVAX, ADA, and DOT. So let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.